this what victory feels like? of the fish from here. Shall we try fishing at this spot? I hope too. Let's catch a dame dangler and get Chippy back. We caught a fish. But it wasn't a dame dangler. Sinbad did say that we need fresh worms. Okay, sure. Did we go the wrong way? This looks like a lumber yard. I see people working. They're flying the flag of the Carmine Whispers! Did Sinbad give us the wrong direction? Strange. Hey, what are you doing here? This is a restricted area. No one's allowed to be here. This is a misunderstanding! Someone told us that we could catch dame danglers if we follow the road. Someone told you. Hey guys, we got a couple of sea stingers here. Sea stingers? No, I'm just a hamster. We know your spice for the water whites. Don't try and run away. Sword is a witness. to like listening to anyone. Sinbad pointed us in the right direction, but this path has been a little bumpy. Yes, it's nice and quiet around here. And there's a lot of room for fishing. Let's look for some worms in the shallows. And then we can find a good location to fish.
Wrangler is so fierce. I think the innkeeper is deliberately giving us a hard time by asking us to catch this fish. I can't wait to see the look on his face when we go back with this Dane Dangler. fish I can't believe you didn't get caught at the lumber yard these water whites are yours Luca Bella take them yes Luca Water White, tell me your name. <laughs> Luca, bring what we found. Understood. This is the sail from the boat we were using. It's the flag of the Water Whites. You came to Rustport on a Water White boat and injured our patrol team at the Lumberyard. Do you have anything else to say? Every white we catch always says the same thing. You're smart enough to know that begging for mercy is useless at this point. Give up your accomplices and tell us why you're in Restport, and we'll take it easy on you. <laughs> Don't want to tell me? Hmm. Most water whites aren't as stubborn as you. Luca, rip the tongues off those rodents. Smart. Luca, remove the cloth from their mouths. We're not water whites. Sinbad can attest to that. He saved us at the beach, took us to Bowls Inn, and told us where to go fishing. He knows everything we did the last few days. Sinbad. It's that fish-brained urchin with the scar on his face. He's the one who recommended Hugin. You can't trust anyone in Rustport. Especially him. All right, keep talking. The information you provide will decide your fate. Merlin? Who's Merlin? Haven't you ever heard of Merlin? She's the greatest maid alive. Also, show some respect and address her as Magister Merlin. A mage? Isn't Rustport still a part of the Lightbearer Empire? How have you never heard of Magister Merlin? I'm sorry to say this, but you are truly ill-informed. What nonsense. Since you're unwilling to tell the truth, I'll have Luca deal with you. Understood. Excuse me. Father. Sonia, these people might be useful. We should not waste resources at a time like this. <laughs> but they're water whites. That's only your suspicion. It's not a fact. The Carmine Whispers do not tolerate betrayal. My suspicion is enough for them to die. You can't always run a gang with an iron fist. Besides, we need to prepare for that. Throw them into Darkstone Cave for now. Take your time. You still have a lot to learn. I figured. Knock them out.
Hey, new fish. Do you know what this place is? Hmm. You're lucky. We usually just feed sea stingers to the sharks. But anyway, once you enter Darkstone Cave, you belong to me and you follow my rules. Now, go put those boxes behind me in order. Hey, were you three caught in the water, or on the beach? On the beach? Yeah, that's right. Those posy parrots can't catch us in the water. You mean the Carmine Whispers, right? Of course. Those legless prawns locked us up. And they've been making us move boxes and dig rocks every day. I swear, when I get out, I'm gonna blow them up. Just pretend to work. Our boss, she'll definitely come rescue us. Hey, new fish, save your strength. Otherwise, you'll be too weak when we escape. No one's gonna help you. What are you guys planning? What's our escape plan? Compared to us, these posy parrots are like landlubbers in the water. The dead tide fleet will destroy the Carmine Whispers. As long as we can hold out until the next wave of attacks, we'll definitely find a chance to slip away. You're definitely new, aren't you? You haven't met our boss, right? She's from the Dead Tide Fleet. She's one of Captain Hodgkin's most trusted lieutenants. And oh yes, they are Graveborns. But who cares? As long as they can take over Rustport and free us, that's all that matters. Just wait for the blaring horn of the Immortal. All those who hear its call will be scared spitless and jump ship the moment it arrives. It's you again. <laughs> you all don't look too bad. Sinbad, they caught you too? Did you know that the innkeeper betrayed us? We caught the Dane Dangler and went back to the inn to report to Bowles. But the Whispers were waiting for us. They accused us of being water whites and threw us in here. Don't worry, my friends. The moment I heard what happened, I came here to help. Really? Weren't you also captured by the Whispers? Yes, I was captured, but it was on purpose. It's all part of my plan. As for my plan, in these kinds of situations, if I had some, you know, things would go more smoothly. Money, gold, coin. Do I really have to spell it out for you? Bribes cost money. How am I supposed to convince the foreman to turn a blind eye without any coin? Plus, I deserve a little something, too. After all, I took a big risk coming here to save you. Really, nothing. Not even a few coppers? I do still have a few coppers left. Will it be enough? Every little bit counts. <laughs> Listen, it's not hard to leave this cave. The foreman, Mork, is an old drunk. 
He stole some wine last night. If I can add something to his wine, he'll be passed out in no time. The tough part is the guards outside, but like I said, I have a plan. I already know the terrain and the patrol schedule. You just need to stick close to me. Once we're out of the cave, just follow my instructions. Got it? Chippy's on board! I guess there's no other way. We can't let the Magister stay here any longer. If we rush out, that will just set off the alarms. This is a better plan. So, we're all in agreement, right? All right. I'll give you a signal when I put our foreman friend to sleep. This is where we came to catch the Dame Dangler. That's right. This is where the Whispers get their lumber. This place is dangerous. If you knew that the Whispers were stationed nearby, why did you tell us to come here and fish? I had no choice. If you wanted to find a Dame Dangler at Blackwood Lock, you either had to go from the beach where I found you or go from Rustport's northwest gate. No matter which route you take, there will be Whispers guarding the place. At least this one has fewer guards. Don't blame me for getting caught last time. All right. We can talk about that later. Why do the Whispers need so much wood? I hear it's to build a ship big enough to take on the Immortal from the Dead Tide Fleet. The Dead Tide Fleet is an infamous group of graveborn pirates. The Immortal is their flagship. A terrifying ship as black as the deepest abyss. Whispers are also forcing people to dig up rocks. Do ships need rocks? Rocks? Maybe they want to put catapults on the ship. Let's not worry about what the Whispers are up to for now. Where are we going? They think we're spies for the Water Wipes. We can't go back to Rustport. I'm glad you trust me. I do know a way to get you all out of here, but it passes by the Whispers' shipyard. What do you think? With the Magister here, Chippy and Hammy aren't afraid of anything. Uh, not bad, little guy. You're braver than you look. All right, passengers. 
It's time to leave this place. After crossing the bridge in front, if you continue west, you'll reach the Whisper's shipyard. Sounds dangerous. Are you scared? We can't let our guard down now. It's better to leave as soon as possible. Hey, lighten up. We're almost at the shipyard. This is where the adventure really begins. Shipyard is much larger than what should be imagined. Sinbad, this shipyard seems to have no ships. Look at the cannon on the wall. It's so shiny. Are you sure this is a shipyard? It feels like a weapons workshop. Whether it's a shipyard or a weapons workshop, they're all about making weapons. It doesn't really matter, does it? Would you not have come this way anyway? Sinbad isn't being honest with us. All right, I admit that I didn't tell you the truth, but it's because this place is a secret. Watch out! Wow! Is that how powerful mages are? You actually blocked a cannonball! Who fired that shot? You urchins better get up here, or you'll get shot again! Oh no! We've been spotted! What should we do? Should we listen to him? No way! What if he's lying to us? We've been tricked before! Good! You're learning! Don't worry, that's Hugin. He won't hurt you. Are you sure? Hugin's been looking for a mage. You'll see when you meet him.
I saw it! You stopped my shots with magic! Your barrier looked as flimsy as a butterfly's wing! But it actually blocked my cannonballs! Incredible! Jurahabob, the goddess must have heard my prayers and sent a mage to help me with designs! <laughs> Look at this beautiful cannon behind me! Everything is set except for a magical enchantment. With the help of magic, it'll be able to sink the immortal and destroy the dead tide fleet! Sinbad, did this person come because of your recommendation? Well done! Hey, what are you talking about? I'm trying to help him escape. Okay, I'll be honest. I'm somewhat connected to the Carmine Whispers. Hugin is a talented craftsman who can make all sorts of interesting things. I just introduced him to the Whispers. Hugin's making a special cannon to deal with the dead tide fleet. He's in need of a mage, and it just so happens that you're in need of a ship. I was thinking if you could do him a favor, he could do you a favor. But he opened fire as soon as he saw us! Yes, well, that couldn't be helped. Uh, the Water Whites have been restless lately, and we've been on high alert for a while. Look, let's be friends. If you want a ship, I can help. I just need your help with enchantments. You didn't even apologize to the Magister, and you're already asking for something. How rude! Apologize to the Magister? Well, I'm sorry then. You can shoot me if that'll make you feel better. I'm serious. Whistler, Hardhead, Fireside, and Shorty, they all agree with me. Who are Whistler, Hardhead, Fireside, and Shorty? They are my best friends, my assistants, and my inspiration. Look, they're saying hello to you. Um, you mean that your prosthetic, hammer, furnace, and forge have names? That's right! And you remembered all of them! Look, they're so happy! Hugin seems to be able to see the souls of things. If that's even possible. You'll get used to it. When I first met Hugin, he surprised me too. I learned later that he's just a crazy inventor. <laughs> he gets the most riled up when he's talking about his creations. Please help enchant my flint blaster. With your magic, we'll be invincible. Wait! Don't tell me flint blaster is the name of your cannon. Yes, that's right! I shot you with my flint blaster. I improved its trajectory by three inches by adjusting the core and adding a wisp stone to the saltpeter. Hugin. <laughs> We're not interested in hearing how you improved your cannon. The Magister hasn't agreed to help you yet. Keep talking like that, and she'll leave. <laughs> I believe that any honorable Major Magister would want the chance to save Rustport. You'll be a legend if you do. The Magister is right. We're just passing through and trying to find our way to Cedar Town. Why do we have to save Rossport? Also, don't forget, the Carmine Whispers locked us up because they thought we were water whites. We need to leave as soon as possible. Sinbad, you said that you could help us get away. Where's the ship? Ask Hugin for the ship. Well, I do have ships if you want them. However, if we don't deal with the dead tide fleet and that Kraken, you'll never be able to leave. If we don't agree to help with the enchantments, we can't leave, right? It feels like you're coercing us. No! Magister, this is cooperation! It'll be an epic tale that'll be passed down for generations! Rustport will thank you, and we all get what we want! <sighs> of course, if you don't want to get involved, no one can force you. We can only pray to the gods for help. Yes! That's great! Hard headlights you even more now! Oh, come! Let's take a look at my flint blaster! Uh, uh. Magister? 
What do you think about my flint blaster? What type of supplies do you need for enchantments? Please tell me! My sweet flint blaster deserves only the best of the best! Eugen, stop sounding so desperate. Oh, Sinbad! Hardhead says you're not a bad kid. But if you watch your mouth, more people would like you. Please tell Hardhead that he's a hammer, and it's better if he talks less. Okay, you two, stop arguing. Let's hear what the Magister has to say. Yes. I think we need a few flare owl stones, but we're on an island. If we collect some ocean wood and sea loam bones, they could be used as replacements. Hmm. There should be some nearby. We'll have someone go gather some. I guess I could help out. All right, we'll leave it up to you then. And now that I think about it, I don't know if I can be much help looking for magical things. I'll stay here and keep Hugin company. Let us know if you need help with anything. Everything's been collected, but Chippy doesn't want to go back. Magister, you're going to use enchantment magic, right? Will it use up a lot of your power? Don't worry, Chippy. Let's trust in the Magister's power. Also, I think she's worried about something else right now. Yes, he's a crafty one. He told us he would help us sail away. But actually, he just took us to meet Hugin. He's also very mysterious. He always seems to appear when we need him. Okay, from now on, Chippy will keep a close eye on Sinbad. We can't let him hurt the Magister. Don't forget, the Whispers still think we're water whites. We need to have Hugin clear that up for us. That's right. Chippy has had enough of these accusations. Magister, give us a signal later and watch Chippy and Hammy put on a show. All right, let's go back to Hugin. You got the ocean wood and the sea lum bones, right? Should we get started? Okay, everyone, step back. Let's get out of the Magister's way. What's wrong? What happened? Master Hugin, I don't know if you know, but we actually had to escape from Darkstone Cave. The Whispers thought we were water whites and treated us like prisoners. Ever since arriving in Rustport, we've been tricked chased and lied to chippy almost drowned even if the enchantment works and the whispers defeat the dead tide fleet we would still be captives will the whispers let us go master hugin is such a nice person and hardhead and the others are so friendly chippy thinks they'll help us if we ask them to if someone could confirm we're not water white and prove our innocence <laughs> Even Hardhead can see that you're all good people. Huh. Ugh. I can't watch this any longer. Hugin won't understand if you beat around the bush. Just tell him straight. Master Hugin, of course we'll help you with your enchantments. But 
Could you tell the Whispers to stop chasing us and calling us Water Whites? Also, after that, we would like a ship to take us to Cedar Town. Oh, yes, that's fine. I can do that. I was worried that the enchantment wouldn't work. I was about to tear my hair out. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Even if you threw old Tessio into the sea, I'll make sure no one bothers you. Okay, let's get started. I can't wait. This is all a misunderstanding! They're water whites. They should not be here. All I know is that she's a mage. So what if she's a mage? They could also be enemies. They just upgraded my flint blaster. With one shot, it'll shake the Graveborns to their very core. If they were water whites, they would have blown up the base. I have gunpowder everywhere. Even so. Come, Magister. This is Sonya, the leader of the Carmine Whispers. Okay, Magister. If you're not a Water White, then you should have been a guest of honor. Ha ha ha! Well, she's not. So, she can still be a guest of honor, right? What happened? It's an explosion, but where? Oh no! My cannon! Luca, go! Yes, ma'am. You're a hub! My cannon! The water whites. <gasps> You fool! up the battlefield. woman with the grappling hook. She was tough! And she called Sonya her sister. Ara's my sister. 
but she died in a shipwreck long ago. I don't know how Nara became a Graveborn and why she's the leader of the Water Whites, but I'll find out and give everyone an explanation. Those dirty sea dogs made a mess here! Oh, my darlings! Look at you all! Boss, the cannon blueprints are missing. We have to go after them. Those blueprints are essential. Luca, take your men and go after them. Hugo and I will stay here in case they attack again. Leave it to me. I'll bring back the blueprints and the heads of those who attacked us. Magister, can you go with Luca? If the Whites escape with those blueprints, then we're all in trouble! Let me make it clear. We're helping you, so you're not allowed to accuse us of being Water Whites anymore. If the Water Whites use the blueprints and recreate my cannons, then Rustport will stay sealed forever! Magister, please help us, for the sake of Hardhead, Shorty, and Fireside! Also, I'll have Sonya apologize to you. What? Sonya, these blueprints are important! No objections? Great! Go help Luca! Hurry! Luca, these whites are acting recklessly. Have we been tricked? The blueprints might not be with them. Search them. <laughs> They're not just gonna let us do that. Then we'll beat them till they listen. They've all been searched. Nothing. They must have split into two groups. One to lure us away, and the other escaped with the blueprints. Those scheming sea snakes! What do we do now? Do we keep chasing them? We'll have a few people continue forward and scout. The rest of you, follow me back to the workshop. We didn't catch up with the Water Whites. They tricked us. Sonya, I failed. Don't blame Luca. Who knew the Water Whites would split into two groups? Those Whites know the waters well. They must have drawn our attention at the docks when they jumped on their ship so the actual person with the blueprints could dive below the water. Don't blame yourself. You did what you could. We can't let it end like this, Sonya. Of course. We'll get to the bottom of this. How did the Water Whites get in? How did they know about our cannon project? They were able to raid our facility and steal our blueprints within a day. Either the enemy had infiltrated our facility already, or there's a mole in the gang. Hmm. I've been thinking about that. How did they know our location? Someone definitely led them here. Hugin, how did the Magister get here? Do you think it's us again? We just helped you fight off the Water Whites. We whispers hate betrayal. But don't worry, I know you've helped us. I just want to confirm how you got here from Darkstone Cave. Yes, if we were with the Water Whites, we would have escaped during the chaos. Indeed. 
that cannot be refuted. Why do you keep mentioning Merlin? Is that supposed to be some great name or title? You're that Merlin? Of course! That's incredible! No wonder your magic is so powerful! By the gods, I'm actually talking to Magister Merlin, and she's alive! What on earth is Merlin? Merlin is a legendary mage. In my master's copy of the Book of Magic, there were 36 pages of Merlin's achievements and adventures. She once went deep into the desert alone and found a land of ice and snow. All right, I got it. Get to the point. In short, there is no way that Magister Merlin is working for the Water Whites. I swear on my tools and on the reputation of thee and my master. If Hugin is swearing upon his master's reputation, is there any doubt? I'm not doubting him. I'm just thinking about how to apologize. Are you done thinking? I've never seen Hugin admire anyone other than his master. Although I've never heard of Merlin, I can feel the weight of this title. You must be a remarkable person. Apologies for my misunderstanding earlier. Come back with us to Rustport. You'll be our guest of honor. We need the power of a mage. Took you long enough. Will Sinbad go back with us? Of course. I don't want to face those water whites again. It's safer with you. Oh, wait, I haven't officially introduced myself to the leaders of the Carmine Whispers yet. <sighs> Hello, I'm Sinbad. I'm usually around the docks if you need a hired hand. Hello, Sinbad. I heard of you from Luca. Yes. He's noisy and dishonest. Sinbad told us he'd help us get out of Rustport. But he brought us to see Hugin, and then we met you again. <laughs> you know life isn't easy here. I'm just trying to make my way in the world. Really? Let me make it clear that I'm not a water white. My village is always getting robbed by those damn sea dogs. If I was with them, they wouldn't have beaten me senseless earlier. All right. Let's go back to Rustport first. We have many matters to deal with now that the Water Whites are on the attack. Bowles, these people are honored guests of the Carmine Whispers. Treat them with the highest courtesy, and please don't be rude. Also, word travels fast in Rustport. The Carmine Whispers are willing to turn a blind eye to some things, while others, not so much. You're a smart man. I don't need to say anything else, do I? Yeah. So, they're all honored guests? Even that urchin Sinbad? He's the one that found our esteemed guests. I'm flattered. I owe everything to the Magister. You all can stay here, and tell Bowles if you need anything. Goodbye, for now. <clears throat> it's impressive that you all made it back in one piece. Since the leader of the Whispers approved of you, I have nothing to say. Get some rest upstairs. The best room is yours.
Skippy feels much better after eating and sleeping. Hey, where's Sinbad? Downstairs. The innkeeper is talking to him. It seems like a secret conversation. Yeah, let's sneak over and try to eavesdrop. You've come up in the world. What are you talking about? Do those honored guests upstairs know what you've done? So what if they know? So they don't know. If they knew that you were the one who reported them to the Whispers, and that you set this whole thing up with me. <sighs> Just tell me how much you want. Ha! Huh. You've always been a clever kid. Magister! Did you hear what Sinbad said? He was in cahoots with the innkeeper. He led us to the inn and had the Whispers ambush us. It was him all this time. Even if he saved Chippy's life, this is too much. Let's go and talk to him. Hey, <laughs> that was quick. Is something wrong with the room? Bulls lied to us and told the whispers we were water wipes. You were behind the whole thing, weren't you? You, uh, heard our conversation. Why did you lie to us? You saved Chippy. Chippy wanted you to be our friend. This was all a misunderstanding. There was a water white sail on your boat. I saw it when I found you. You mean the symbol? That looked like a claw or a bone? Look, anyone who's on a water white vessel is bound to be a water white. Providing the whispers with information will not only protect Rustport, but you will definitely get rewarded somehow. We found that boat. Not anymore. I've been with you all this time. I can guarantee you're not connected to those spineless sea slugs. Okay, now explain how you and Bull set us up. Also, you said you were going to help us escape, but instead you took us to beat Hugin. Don't worry, I'll explain everything. Bulls just wanted you to go fishing at Blackwood Lock. The Water Whites are out at sea all year round, and they use the Dame Dangler's lights to shine through the fog. So the Whispers have people guarding Blackwood Lock all the time. I wanted to use Bulls' plan to test who you really were. It's obvious now that you're not one of them. But you unexpectedly injured some Whispers, which alerted Luca, and he went to personally take you down. Tell us the truth! We were thrown into Darkstone Cave! Was that also your plan? Uh, Sir Chippy, please don't point your sword at my calf. <laughs> All right, I knew Sonia would send captives to Darkstone Cave. Helping you was just a cover. My real purpose was to take you to see Hugin. He needed a mage. You could have introduced us to the Whispers from the very beginning. Why did you tell them we were water bites? Because Sonia is very set in her ways. If she suspected you, you would never get close to that cannon. Her suspicion would have stopped us from freeing Rustport, and Rustport needed a mage. Also, Sonia had no idea who I was at the time. Even if I tried recommending you to her, she may not have believed me. She might have even thought that I was working with the Whites. Look, I wanted to tell you, but I didn't know how I was going to apologize. Instead, you found out first. I'm really sorry. If it helps, you can get a few shots in. I won't fight back. Please forgive me. I 
understand that you're angry, but why did you tie me up? To prevent you from doing bad things again. You've lost our trust! I guess I brought it upon myself. But don't sleep too soundly tonight. After all the commotion you've caused, who knows what big moves the Whispers might make. Don't listen to Sinbad! He's trying to trick us again! <sighs> Things are about to get interesting. I'm busy. You aren't here this late just for tea, are you? The Whites raided the shop and pinched the cannon blueprint. Without a traitor, they couldn't have succeeded. Why do you doubt me? Regardless of who's to blame, it's time for you to retire, father. Every sword is a witness. With the whispers guarding the place, how could these guys get in? You didn't listen to my advice, did you? Chippy knows! There must be a secret passageway! Let's go look for it. Hey, don't leave me alone! I know this place! I can help! I know I owe you, so I'll make it up to you. Right, but I'm keeping my eye on you. Every sword is a witness. Magister, just now, Chippy saw the Whispers working with the Water Whites. Is Chippy dreaming? Yeah, something's wrong. They looked like they were cooperating with each other. Where does this lift lead to anyway? 
both the Carmine Whispers and the Water Whites were guarding it. Sonya told everyone we were guests. So why did the Whispers here attack us? Let's go! This place is surrounded by my people. How did you get here? Um, well... From a secret passage? The Water Whites launched a sneak attack in the middle of the night, but the Magister drove them away. We found a secret passage and it brought us here. Water Whites? What else did you see in the secret passage? We saw several guards. Some were water whites. Some were from the Carmine Whispers. Were they fighting? No. They were guarding the lift together. Luca, go down and take a look. They're telling the truth. Father, do you have anything else to say? Sonia. Colluding with Water Whites and stealing our secrets. The Carmine Whispers do not tolerate betrayal. You taught me that. Ha! Ah, I taught you well. However, you will not end my life here. Come at me if you dare. Are you going to kill me, Sonia? I am your father. If I hadn't saved you from that shipwreck, you would have died back then. Like your sister. I know. I raised you like one of my own. Taught you how to use a sword and sent you to the best schools. I even handed you the Carmine Whispers. If you kill me now, You'll lose the support of everyone. Do you remember when I pinned that rose on your chest and told everyone that you were my child? You promised me eternal loyalty. I did not forget. You can't bring yourself to take my life, my child. Killing me would not benefit you. Accept your fate. Father. No way, Sonya. Don't tell me you're buying this. Do you really believe that Tessio regards you as family? If you believe that, then Luca is my twin brother. Shut your mouth. Luca, put him in chains. Understood. Sonya, I, I can't believe you're doing this. Phew. I thought I was the one you were going to put in chains. Father. You've grown old. Your eyesight isn't what it used to be, and you nag all the time. Look at me. I'm no one's child. I'm the boss of the Carmine Whispers. After you die... How dare you? Years ago, pirates were rampant in Rustfort. Many people wanted to leave. 
So you organized a shipwreck. You had explosives in the cabin and had the main mast compromised. You purposefully put people in danger so that the Carmine Whispers would come to their rescue. As expected. After the shipwreck, the popularity of the Whispers soared, and everyone respected you and called you the Dawn. You're probably wondering how I know all of this. Don't forget. You taught me everything you knew. What's the big deal? I gave everyone a new purpose. A new life. I am their savior. Everyone knows that help isn't free. Even saviors have to pay for their sins. I grew the Carmine Whispers with my blood, sweat, and tears. What's wrong with that? If you want flowers to bloom, blood is the perfect fertilizer. You will be judged. Me? Judged? I don't think so. I didn't know the secret passageway was this big. It's funny. If the Water Whites had never attacked, you would have never found this secret passageway. I thought the Whispers were all seeing, but it turns out you wouldn't notice a rat even if it was gnawing under your floorboards. Shut up, you noisy seagull! We knew the Water Whites were digging tunnels to Rustport. We sealed many of them. However, we missed the biggest one, it seems. You're the one who never checked on the place. Yes. It's negligence on my part. If you have anything else to say, please wait until we catch up with Tessio. If we don't catch up to him soon, Tessio is going to get away! It sounds like rest in here. We need to get out of here as soon as possible. Slow down. You can't get past that door. How do you know? Look, this door can only be opened with a special mechanism. Do you know how to open it? Certainly. Then open the door. Yeah, well, you have to untie my rope first. Wait, you're not lying to us again, are you? Trying to find a way to escape? Come on, guys. There are so many of you, and the Great Magister Merlin is here as well. What are you afraid of? The only way you'd know how to find this door mechanism is if you were a part of the Water Whites and a traitor to the Carmine Whispers. So which side are you on? It, hey, don't swing that sword around. We're friends, remember? Let me explain. A guy like me who barely makes a living can't depend on just one employer. I have to freelance. I have to hustle. Can I really turn down a job from the Water Whites? If you open the door and help us catch Tessio, I won't feed you to the sharks. How's that? Untie me, and it's a deal. What do you think, Magister Merlin? Thanks. Let me just open this door for you. He's not running away. He's chasing after Tessio. Why is he chasing Tessio? Does he have a grudge against him or something? Long story short, yes, he does. It's revenge for his father. He's never mentioned this before. It's rather complicated. You can ask him later. Let's not lose sight of him.
victory feels like. To the southwest is Brineville? That's right. The village with those women. Sinbad's home is a village run by a group of widows. After Sinbad's father died, those women raised him. Shippy didn't know that about him. You three go on ahead. Luca and I will bring more men to support you as soon as we can. Wait! Why should we help you chase down your enemy? The Magister is not one of your followers. Neither are Chippy and I. Rustport is being targeted by the Water Whites and the Dead Tide fleet. They bribed Tessio, and now he's working for them. The Carmine Whispers need your help. If you don't want to, I can also arrange a boat to take you away. No! The Kraken is still out there! Then let's destroy the Dead Tide fleet together, or else you'll never be able to leave. Tessio, the Water Whites, the Dead Tide Fleet. Defeat and capture them in one fell swoop. I hope we work well together. I'll see you later. Of course they want to work with us. Only Magister Merlin can deal with these types of situations. That's the problem with being so powerful. Everyone wants your help. All right, let's catch up to them. <laughs> 